sa ating lahat so uh, for our topic for today so yung sinabi ko last time uh, tutuloy natin yung arithmetic sequence so after arithmetic mean so we go now in arithmetic series so uh, arithmetic series is the indicated sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence so ito yung sum ng uh, arithmetic sequence Okay, so we have uh, some formula na dapat tandaan in finding the sum of a arithmetic sequence. Okay, so we have S of n represent the sum of the terms. Then uh, S of n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a, a sub n. Or we can use... Uh, S sub n is equal to n over 2 times 2 a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times the d. Okay? So, where s is, is the sum, n is for the number of terms, a sub n is the last term, and a sub n is the first term, and then d is for the common difference. Okay? So, set tayo ng example kung kailan ginagamit. Uh, si S sub N, yung unang formula, then second. So, parehas din naman ng lalabas. Okay? So, set tayo. Let's go! Now, for our first example, so, given, so, the direction is find the sum of the arithmetic sequence given, so, kung papansin ninyo, uh, meron tayong A sub 1, A sub N wala, N is equal to 8, and D is 3. So, dun sa first formula natin kanina, so, eto, uh, wala kasi siyang uh, last term. Uh, pwede natin hanapin yung last term, pero pwede natin gamitin yung pangalawang formula. Okay? So, ayan po yung pangalawang formula. So, again, pag wala yung last term, we can use the second option, yung formula. So, try natin. So, we have uh, S sub N is equal to Okay, so formula natin this one, so substitute na lang natin ha, ang n natin is 8 all over 2, okay, and then we have 2 times the first term is 7 plus n natin is 8 minus 1 times 3, okay, so ayan, given po yung ano natin ha, okay, so, so divide natin to, we can divide this, so we have 4, and then yung nasa loob, so this is 14 plus 7 times 3 okay so 7 times 3 so this is 4 and then we have 14 plus 21 okay so ayan sorry so again uh, divide natin si 8 by 2 so we have 4 substitute natin si first term so ayan and then 8 minus 1 so we have 7 times 3 yung d okay so 14 plus 21 we have 4 times 35. Okay? Okay, so pag multiply natin, si 4 and then 35, S sub 8 or the sum is 140. So, ayan po. Okay? Para yan sa first example. Okay, next one. So, again, so gamitin na natin yung pangalawang formula. Kamaya, tuturuan natin yung kung kailang ginagamit yung ano, sec first formula. Pero, the same din naman ang lalabas. Okay? So, we have substitute ka na lang ha. So, nakita nyo naman po yung formula sa taas. So, we have 32. Uh, we have 32 divided by 2. And then, we have 2 times 16 plus n is 32 minus 1 times negative 4. Okay? So, meron tayong negative. So, divide natin 32. Divide by 2. So, we have 16. And 2 times 16 is 32. Plus, we have here uh, 31 times negative 4. Okay? So, if we multiply 31 then negative 4. So, isi lang natin. 32 plus this is negative 124. Okay? So again, uh, meron tayo ritong ano, uh, 
different sign. So, subtract natin. So, kopyahin natin yung sign ng meron pinakamalaki. Ulitin ko lang ha. So, 2 times 16, we have 32. 32 minus 1, we have 31. Times negative 4, we have negative 124. Okay? And then, subtract natin yung dalawa. We have uh, 32, 90, 92. Okay, this is negative. Okay, so we have S sub 32 is equal to 16 times negative 9. Negative 92 is 1,000. Oh, negative 1,000. Negative 1,472. Okay, so salamat. So next example po natin. Okay, so gamitin natin yung first formula. Diba sabi ko sa inyo, turuan ko kaya kung, pa, uh, kung paano gagamitin yung first formula. The same din naman po ang lalabas. Okay, but, uh, but for that, kailangan nating makuha si uh, last term. Okay, to get the last term, so gamitin natin si formula ng arithmetic sequence. So we have, formula muna ha, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the d. Okay, so substitute lang po natin to. Okay, so we have a sub n is equal to 7, yung ating uh, first term. And then, plus n natin is 8 minus 1 times 3. Okay po? So, ayan po yung given sa taas. Okay, now, so we have 7 plus, so this is 7 times 3. So, we have... Okay, so 7 plus 21, so this is, ang last term natin is 28. Okay, so kung meron na tayong last term, meron din tayong first term, so pwede natin gamitin yung first formula, which is S sub N is equal to N over 2 times A sub 1 plus A sub N. Okay, so again, Ang n natin is 8, divide by 2, a sub 1 is 7 plus 28. Okay? So, pag dinivide natin natin to this is 4, and then this is 35. So, the same din, di ba? Sa so, taas, tingnan po ninyo. Okay? So, 14 plus 21 yung sa kambila, uh, lalabas si 35. Dito naman, 7 plus 28. So, also 35. So, kapag minultiply natin, S sub S is equal to 140. Okay? So, yun lang po yung difference ng dalawang formula. Okay? So, salamat. So, check ulit natin.